I'm Leo Walder for Kit Guru. Cryptocurrency and the mining of cryptocurrency on PC hardware such as this is big news. Uh, I came across this, if I had any doubt about it, in my last Leo Says when I commented on uh, cryptocurrency in in passing, frankly, uh, because gaming graphics cards continue to be hugely expensive. I also mentioned, for what it's worth, Spectre, Meltdown, uh, Apple HomePod, uh, Amazon Alexa, financial figures for NVIDIA, Amazon and Google. Many topics. Mining was honestly just a passing thought, and yet all the comments were about it. Uh, I quote a comment. For the love of God, Waldock, stop talking such utter bilge, stick to what you know. The thing is, I do know something about mining, but I don't know the details. So, for example, I know about blockchain technology. I know about smart contracts. I have heard of Satoshi Nakamoto, the uh, apparent founder of uh, Bitcoin, although it may be a real person, maybe a collective, maybe a woman. Who knows? Uh, almost certainly is not Japanese. But there are many, many gaps in my knowledge. And KitGuru has fixed this. Our man, Dr. James Morris, has written a massive feature on cryptocurrency mining and all aspects of it. It's 11,000 words. Uh, it's a really good read. So head over to kickguru.net, link here to read this feature, look at the graphs and such like loads of good stuff. For example, I may have guessed there are about 45 cryptocurrencies. Obviously, Bitcoin is the big one, but there are many others. I could not have told you there are about 1,000 altcoins. That's complete news to me. Also, the difference between coins and tokens. Honestly, I've been using the word interchangeably. Uh, so that's wrong. Uh, James also uh, tackles... Now, the thing about James, you, you need to know this about James. He's been reviewing workstation graphics cards for years before compute on GPU was really a thing. And mining, of course, is all about compute on GPU. So the technology has absolutely moved into his uh, sphere of uh, excellence and knowledge. And he's the perfect man for this feature. He tackles, for example, should you run your mining operation on AMD or NVIDIA, uh, which is obviously connected to CUDA versus OpenCL. I came across this recently, I was looking at uh, Adobe Premiere, but that's a completely different ball game. Uh, and as I discovered, depending on what you're doing, the graphics card makes next to no difference. For mining, could not be more different. He has graphs showing this. Uh, but the thing about CUDA versus OpenCL, then you have the question about, and I looked at my notes, core hashing technology and the specific algorithm that you select. He's got a bit of back-to-back -back comparison to show you what sort of hardware does the best work and how efficient it is, how much profit it makes, how much power it uses. These are all critical factors. Uh, he also shows you how you can estimate and then calculate more accurately how much money you might actually make or indeed might you lose having invested a thousand pounds in a Threadripper or in this case of this hardware here, this uh, two thousand pound uh, Intel Core i9 with 18 cores. And then, of course, you've got the graphics cards, if you can get your hands on the graphics cards, which takes us back to the thing. But James tackles all sorts of burning questions. Do you want an internal wallet or an external wallet? And I must confess, I had no idea if you maintain a wallet on your own machine, the entire blockchain, which you have to then store, can be 150 gigabytes for the entire blockchain. And the irony is, and I'd completely miss this point, to keep your system secure, you may want to consider putting your storage in a physical safe. So your physical safe to protect your crypto, I mean, it's just almost too humorous for words. Various other things. I, I did not know that AMD has its own mining software. It's a link on this feature takes you directly to AMD's technical page where you can download a driver which is to do a blockchain technology. I did not know this. I have learned. You cannot realistically hope to mine for coins on your own with one machine or even a garage of machines. You'll be working in a collective which is where uncle and aunt rewards come into the equation and the group that you work in will have like a team reward and you get a little slice of it and then what do you do with that uh, how do you exchange it for fiat currency? And fiat currency is nothing to do with Italian cars. It's all to do with what I would regard as real money, money backed by a government. So how do you change your uh, ether into euros or uh, dollars or pounds or whatever? And apparently changing to pounds sterling is more tricky than you might expect. Euros appears to be the way forward. And then we get on to power, 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 because the system runs on power. How much do you pay for your power? Which is why you will find that the really serious operations are running in place like Siberia and the Nordics where they have free hydro or indeed Iceland where they have geothermal. If you're working in a place where you actually are paying for electricity in the regular way, the efficiency of a graphics card makes all the difference in the world. Bitcoin mining uses 47 terawatt hours of power, which is as much power as Singapore. Uh, 
Ethereum uses 13 terawatts, which is the same as either Myanmar or Burma, depending on how politically correct you want to be. Uh, and then the feature closes, uh, having gone through this good stuff, uh, with uh, warnings about, for example, coin exchanges get hacked. You might have some money, then you might not have some money. How do you get that money actually in your personal hands? Lots of good stuff. It is crystal clear that James Morris is really enthusiastic about mining, but he's not gone into this all starry-eyed. There are various warnings and such like, but he also walks you through the step-by-step -step of how would you actually get mining yourself. It's not high falorting, fanciful, theoretical stuff. It's proper good information. I wish to goodness I'd read this sort of thing a few weeks ago. Nonetheless, uh, I've learned. I've moved forward. I'm a better person for it. If you go to kitguru.net and read this feature, so too will you. If you like this video, thumbs up. If you don't, thumbs down. If you want more from KitGuru, click to subscribe. Do head over to kitguru.net and read Dr. James Morris' feature on cryptocurrency and mining.